When graphing a linear inequality in two variables, we want to graph all of those ordered pairs who have an x coordinate and a y coordinate such that when it's plugged into the inequality, it makes a true statement. When we're looking at graphing an inequality on an xy plane, what we need to do is we need to find the boundary between the part of the graph that holds all the ordered pairs that make the inequality true and that part of the um, plane where the ordered pairs are that it isn't true. And when we find the side of the graph that holds all the ordered pairs that make the inequality true, we want to shade that to bring the person's attention to that region of the graph. Now to do this, what we do is we start off with graphing what's called the boundary. And the boundary is the cutoff between the part of the plane that has the ordered pairs that make the inequality true and the part of the plane where it's not. So the boundary we can graph by looking at the original inequality and replacing the inequality symbol with an equal sign. So we're going to write 2x minus 3y is equal to negative 6 to graph the boundary. Now before we go too far into graphing this, there's another thing that we need to be careful about when we're working with graphing inequalities with the two variables. And that is whether the it boundary is actually part of the solution set or not. If the inequality is like this one and it doesn't have the or equal to notation in the inequality symbol, then the boundary is not part of the solution set. And I need to show that somehow in the picture. The conventional way to show that in the picture is to graph our boundary dashed or perforated, whichever way you want to think about that when you look at the wording of it. So because I don't have the or equal to, I know I have to graph it with a dashed boundary. Um, if it did have the or equal to under it, then we would graph it with a solid boundary because that would indicate that the boundary is part of the solution set. So I always like to make a note to myself when I'm starting the whole process so that by the time I get over to graph the boundary, I remember which way I need to draw it. Now let's get back to graphing the boundary. When I look at this equation for the boundary, I notice that it's a linear equation and it's in general form. I have the x term and the y term on the left side of the equal sign equal to the number on the other side. So to graph this, I can graph it really easily by looking at the intercept method of graphing. So looking at the intercept method of graphing, first I'm going to put 0 in for my x and get what my y coordinate is if x is 0. So we have 2 times, take out the x and put in 0, subtract 3, y is equal to negative 6. Well, 2 times 0 is 0. 0 subtract 3y is a negative 3y is equal to negative 6. When I divide both sides by negative 3, I get y is equal to 2. So I have 0 comma 2 is my y-intercept. Now let's put 0 in for y. Go to the original boundary graph that we're working with. 2x minus 3 times, take out the y and put in 0, is equal to negative 6. Well, 3 times 0 is 0. 2x minus 0 is 2x, is equal to negative 6. When I divide both sides by 2, I get x is equal to negative 3. So I want to graph these two um, ordered pairs and graph my boundary in um, with a dashed line. So 0 comma 2 is don't go left or right, go up 2 and draw your dot. And then negative 3 comma 0, go left 3 and don't go up or down. And then we're going to connect these with a dashed line. So that's my boundary. Now, this is the boundary between the part of the plane where the ordered pairs are true on one side of it 
as far as plugging them into the original inequality, and on the other side, they won't make it true. So the next thing we need to do is just find which side of the boundary line we should shade in order to show where the ordered pairs are that make the inequality true. And to do this, we can test a point on either side of the boundary. Testing 0, 0 when your boundary doesn't go through 0, 0 is just an easier point to test. So we're going to test this point. And again, we need to do this because our original problem was an inequality that we wanted to graph. Now when we're looking at what we have in terms of the work and testing our point, our second step is to test a point in the original inequality to see which side to shade. So we take the original inequality, and because we're using the origin as our test point, the coordinates of the origin are 0, 0, an x coordinate of 0, a y coordinate of 0. So we have two times, take out the x and put in 0 for our test point, minus three times, take out the y and put in zero. And we want to know, does that come out less than negative six? Well, two times zero is zero, minus three times zero is zero, and zero subtract zero is zero. Is zero less than negative six? That's what you want to think about. Well, zero is not less than negative six. So this is no for that test point. So the test point did not make the original inequality true. So no point on the same side of the boundary as the test point will make it true either. So the ordered pairs that make the inequality true are actually on the other side of the boundary. So we shade on the side where the test point didn't come from since this came out no for the inequality when we tested it. And there is our graph of our inequality 2x minus 3y is less than negative 6.